He definitely is transitioning further and further up the field and I suppose it goes to show you that that outfield nature of what is expected now from a goalkeeper. The evolution of goalkeepers continues as is that attempted shot and that brilliant point. Ross Bogue knocks it over the bar from the 45. In fact, it was Mark Donlan. I think I would get the uh, goalkeepers uh, mixed up in the right teams. Mark Donlan, maybe Ross Bogue will hit his 45, but that was a super score from Donlan. Great kick. Jason is facing towards that attacking goal, and he done brilliantly to won that free. Garvin Jones with the left peg, splits the post for Mana back in front. Two points to one as we enter the sixth minute. Eight. For Mana, with everybody back. Pass inside, Cullen comes through, right through Jimmy Highland, and again gives away the free. And the referee is, well, he's brought it up. Yeah, just to see it there, maybe an over the top of the shoulder, like in fairness to the, to the two Collins, both Lee and Shea, they're really aggressive, been on the end of a few of those before myself and, and, and the time, and, and they're really, really two top-class defenders. On that occasion, they were probably just a bit frustrated the free was initially given, and the referee has brought it in to make that, I suppose, an easy one for, for Jimmy Highland to knock over and, and introduce his scoring for the day. An unusual stance in terms of a free taker, but very effective. Jimmy Highland gets his point. The side's a level, two points apiece, seven minutes gone. Looking for help, finds it. Joe McDade pops again into Callum. A little glance up, decides to pop it backwards. Kildare just going around that arc. Declan McCusker finds Shea Cullen, who goes on audacious effort from way out the field. What a glorious score. Well, what one Cullen brother can do, the other one <laughs> takes a bit of confidence from it. There's many a thing I expected to see today coming down to Ennis Gillen. When they were defending well, it gives that easy chance again for Paddy Woodgate to put over. And Paddy Woodgate does put it over the bar. The Raheem's man made no mistake with his left foot, as he tends to do. There was that late tackle. And that late tackle twists and turns. Fermanagh still on the ball, still in possession. Brandon Horan, former McCurry Cup winning captain St. Michael's Ennis Skillen. That's a lovely little weave, a lovely little shot. Off the post it comes, just whenever you thought it was going to dissect the post, it doesn't. There's the fist pass inside, and again, runners coming through for Fermanagh. He's not going to get a free for that as the ball goes loose. Bends down, picks it up, secures possession. That's good work from Josh Largo Ellis. McCusker threads it inside. The angle is acute. That's a difficult score to take on. Not difficult for that man. Brilliant score from Sean Cassidy. Ball seals over the bar. Yeah, great score. He didn't even think about it. You know, that, that seems to be the corner, that, that, that area out there. The two Collins and, and, and him. He way up his line. He's committed himself. He's way off a chance of a lob. Crucial block. And the referee says it will be a free in. Well, you predicted it, and the opportunity presented itself. It, it was it was happening, and it was happening there for quite a while. And, and again, he looks quite comfortable to still still stay out there. Uh, and you know what? It's something we're looking to try and see. We're seeing the keeper being used when your team have the ball. We're maybe not seeing the keeper being used to this extent to defend. And likewise, he goes and commits there to try and stop it. Again, he's happy with the foul, um, but I don't think it'll deter this keeper here on this occasion. Yeah, it's uh, it's really interesting. I suppose the mistake when you look at that is probably committing to the tackle. Side of the boot, Beezer of a score. Ronan McCaffrey, lovely stuff. The Timor man. And just a great point. Hasn't found himself in threatening possessions, or positions I should say. Great score. Well, it's something that Declan McCusker has been doing for years. Just loves getting up the field, loves getting on the ball, and he's accurate in front of goal. So on the left foot, a quick glance up and just curls it into perfection. And all of a sudden, scored for Mana's last point. Takes off his man, he's got a gifted left foot, but it's a big ask. Drop short, into the goal it goes! It's a horror show between the posts for Kildare 
and somehow, somehow Declan McCusker's effort ends up in the back of the net. And that's a big mistake for Kildare. And it's a glorious goal for Fermanagh. Completely, completely changes the complexion of the game. Yeah, difficult, difficult mistake for, for, for Kildare to stomach, difficult mistake for Mark for Mark Donlan to stomach. Credit to Declan McCann over the bar in the first half. Confident kick, you know, kicking up the hill slightly, that a little bit more into whatever bit of a breeze. Fairly calm night here, but a big kick for him and this could be a huge, huge start to the second half for, for, for Kildare. The aim for Kildare, two consecutive points. That's what they're trying to get. Ball rests on the turf. Mark Donlan from Minuth. Goes for it, kicks it with the right boot. Brilliant kick. Delicious score. And it just changes the complexion again. There has been just that brilliant start from Kildare to this half. And all of a sudden, for the first time during the match, you begin to hear the Kildare supporters who've made the two and a half hour. Probably as a black card for, you know, remonstrating aggressively, potentially, with a match official can potentially give you that black card. We will watch another six games this evening, tomorrow, and we will be asking, is there all the referees going to be consistent in that? And this is where the frustration comes in with players, with supporters, linesmen, is can you be consistent in that now for the rest of this game, but also for the rest of the weekend and the rest of the year? Alton Kellum gets the score. One eight to six points to seven points. Kevin Flynn races down the byline, gives it inside. Byrne plays it down the middle, goes to the return pass. Byrne with the ball over the top. Risky, but works out. That's a lovely ball into Kevin O'Callaghan. Kildare need a score. O'Callaghan's kicked off the post and over the bar it goes. Inches make all the difference, and on that occasion, the inches go the right way of the Lillywhites. Yeah, we've seen it on a couple of occasions, just a bit of class from a couple of players within the blanket. I think on that time, on that occasion, was Jimmy Highland under a bit of pressure, but a beautiful cross-field pass back in the reverse. It just, I don't care how many players you want to bring back, they've got a crowd of a 20. It was defence flat time. Kevin O'Callaghan did really well. Cornerback Mick O'Grady, cornerback Mick O'Grady, with the beautifully assured kicking point. Wonderful stuff. That's three players in the full back line scoring points from play across both sides. Which alludes to the point that you made, Michael, the fact that the end of McNulty days of, of the, the cornerback just getting Mark on your man. Mick O'Grady spreads the play. Jack Sargent plays it in, goes the return ball, and Sargent gets it. Didn't fancy the shot, pops it back. Ben McCormick. McCormick still going, he's just trying to create the angle, gives it inside. Lovey transfer the ball, much better from Kildare. But again, the defence and tackling is hard and physical from Fermanagh. But on that occasion, Kildare breakthrough. Ben McCormick, the man that gets the score. Big score, great character, you know, to miss there were the last couple of occasions in the first half, to miss that one in the loop just before that and to come back and hit that one with the, maybe his non -perfect. In the front of your screens, but it was a lovely finish, a brilliantly well-worked move. It came from the kick-out. It was finished on that occasion to the net by Sean Cassidy, and it's 2-10 to 10, and surely now both points will reside in Enniskillen, and that'll be three points out of a possible four for Kieran Donnelly's side. And you have to say on the evidence of the 62 minutes in this match, Michael, they have deserved it. They've been the better team towards the Alliance man of the match. Not an easy one for you to pick today. I'll let you, I'll let you bear your thoughts. Kildare on the charge. What can they create? They've managed to get possession of the ball. Trying to force it, good tackle. But again, the green wall, listen, that's an excellent point from Jimmy Highland. But it was also quality defending from Fermanagh. They had enough bodies back and it was frantic stuff. Highland did so really well to get the ball high over the block. But even now, 68 minutes, knowing that they're probably gonna win the game, Fermanagh were literally diving at the ball. It's an insight into the character and maybe the mindset of this current Fermanagh squad. A lot of people have left. The shot selection, those bad decisions. Uh, they've lost by five or six points. It's, ne it's nearly an easier defeat to take of sorts. 
Can he score it though? That's the big question. It's just summed up the day. Ross Bogue in possession, in kicks, in goals, and saving penalties. High ball came in from the sideline into the square. The referee blows the final whistle. And the players.